Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Monday and it is raining so it wasn't a very good day to do a tutorial but I wanted to get one done so I just did this look which is very very simple it's just one shadow and a couple of liners and of course I had to use my lashes but um and then the lip combo from the other day and I just thought I would do a little just everyday look and I will do something a little bit more with that navy and nude palette later when the lighting gets a little bit better so i hope you guys have a good week okay, so and the only right thing back. i have on so far is my eye cream and just some lip conditioner i don't have anything else on and i don't use a moisturizer because i usually just go in right into my cc cream which is like my primer moisturizer whatever skincare for the so day so i'm using the neutral and i'm just going to put on I'm running out just about that much so just a, a good pea size, a school pea sized amount. <laughs> and I'm not gonna, because I'm using my liquid foundation today that has a lot of coverage, I'm just gonna do like this, take it between my fingers and I'm gonna basically just put it in the T-zone and spots that I need the most um, oil control and my pores and it also cancels out that redness in my cheeks. But something I have noticed, I was gonna tell you guys about, is you know I've been using the Latisse for probably about four weeks now, five at the most, and I've noticed, look how that spot has come back darker and around my eyes is darker again. Um, so I don't think, I've never known anybody that their eye color has changed, but I do think that it makes your eyes darker around you know like your circles darker and I'm not sure it's gonna have to perform some miracles for it to be worth it but I'm gonna go ahead and use the whole bottle okay so the first thing I always do sometimes I do this first sometimes I do this second it just depends on when I think about it but I really think um, when I'm just using my CC cream as a primer it doesn't matter so this is the Giorgio Armani master corrector in one and this will help with that darkness and I just put it on like that and I just pat it in that true darkness. Don't go up, see how it kind of highlights. So don't go up on that, the bags or the puffiness under your eyes. Just keep it under the, in the darkness. And it is raining, has been raining here for weeks and it rained all weekend. And that is why I didn't do a tutorial last week, but um, I figured this would just be a fun tutorial it's not going to be the, it's not going to be very clear so you can see how dark my hair still is i just had my hair done and she put a uh, she did a base break and then put a toner on my hair and the toner just it seems like it turned all of my hair even my highlights darker so i didn't want to do anything else she offered to put in some highlights or you know do something but i don't want to overdo it so i've been i've used just like the blue you know blonde type shampoo i went and bought one of those from matrix or something and i think she used a lonza one on me and um it didn't take it out so i think i'm gonna go get a clarifying shampoo um tell me which one is your favorite clarifying shampoo because um i don't know it might not it probably is not going to look good until i just go get my hair highlighted next time so that's a little bit of a bummer but anyway so today I'm going to use my two Makeup Forever foundations. Um, let's see, I've got 127 and 128. 127 is the more golden, and 128 is a little bit darker and more beige. But I really like this. I like this one better if I am tan, but I have not been tanning or self-tanning lately. So um, I'm going to use, let's see, I think two pumps of the 128. Yeah and then one pump of the 127 which is too much but that's just how i like the color let me see if i can show you without it you can see the difference in the colors and then this is my favorite foundation brush and it's the sedona 602 and i just take the brush and kind of mix the color like that and then dot it on and then i start really blending it in and by this time you know the Rachel K has um it has dried so 
And I definitely go all the over my I love about one. using a liquid foundation versus the powder because it makes your eyelids so pretty. And then I go down my neck with the rest. I'll just make sure I go up my hairline and around my nose. This brush just really blends it out really well, really quickly. Okay, then after that, I just take my Laura Mercier Rich Vanilla and, you know, get some in the lid. And then I'm using my Sephora 55 airbrush. This is the old one, but they make a new one that's just got a black handle. And I just fluff it in there and go over the foundation. And I'm not really having to, like, buff it. I'm just doing it for, um, because I love this color and... Um, I like the dimension that it gives. It'll automatically start giving cheekbones and just kind of sets your makeup. Okay. So that was the Laura Mercier Rich Vanilla. And I love it. Okay. And then for bronzer, I have just been loving still my Laura Mercier Ritual. And um, the brush, I like the Tom Ford bronzer brush, but I like this one if I am trying to do a more um, contoured look. I haven't, I haven't learned to use this one as well as I have my just good old Bobbi Brown. I like that this one, the shape of this one, the, that it's round and kind of flat on the bottom, and I just go all in my Laura Mercier and then go like that around my hairline because I'm pretty much just bronzing all over and then definitely down my neck like that and I do you'll every one of these is different but mine down here has more of the brown so when I'm bronzing I do stay in that more bronzy area like that And then that gives the just the dimension and it doesn't it's not a per se contour but it does end up contouring and then get all around your chin and then what's left on my chest okay this is one of my all-time favorite blushes and it's the Dior um, rosy glow and the lighting is bad so you can't really see it but I've already like worn off the Dior little emboss design on there so that tells you something but what I like about it is that it's a light pink but it still shows it's really really brightening like that see and that just gives you that little bit of color I don't come too far in I stay just above my cheekbones and it gives you kind of a lift okay now I am going to go do my fix plus or i've really been really really been loving the urban decay chill i like the it just feels good i like the way it seals my makeup and um, i love the spray and um so i'll just use one so of those just, and i'll be right um, back sprayed that and you can see it um, has more of a glow and um now i'm going to use my derma blend loose powder with any little brush this this is my favorite one but I like the real techniques little um, blender brush and I also sometimes use my 225 by Mac um, but this is the 165 and I'm just gonna go in right here and right here on the top of my nose just in my t-zone because I don't want to shine there, but I want to keep my glow everywhere else. Okay, and um, I thought I, I was torn between two different looks to do with this Bobbi Brown Navy and Nude palette. Um, I don't know if you guys would rather see what I did on Friday or um, just when I use the um, nude color in here and I think since the lighting is so bad today and you can't see that much I'm just going to use the nude and show you what I do for just an everyday look Paula Dorf sheer crease one brush. thing I forgot to do and is I've really been loving 
putting a little bit of this Derma Blend powder over my eyelids. So that kind of creates, I've already got the foundation, and then I do this, and so that creates that smooth surface to put my eyeshadows on, but it's still the same color as my skin. And that way I don't have to use a primer. It's been working just as well as any primer. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my Polydor Sheer Crease Brush in that Naked from Bobbi Brown and just go in, like angle your brush up and do it right on where the crease, your brow bone or that bone that's, is it, what is it called, your ocular or occipital bone or I can't remember one of those. But go right on that bone and then come in and out and just all you're doing is just creating for me, and many of us, we need something in the crease. But that just, that color is just so awesome. It doesn't, <clears throat> my kitties are chasing each other around, so you'll probably hear them. Um, that just creates a little bit of shadow there. And this color is just so, it's such a good color because it's warm, but not too orangey. It just helps just enough and this brush is just wonderful and I would bring it out like that if your eyes are shaped like mine if not you probably don't need to but the way my bone comes down right there I like to bring it out okay and that's all I'm going to do for the shadow um and like I said I'll do more of that you know more detailed crease look with my I had brought these my Billy B eyeshadow brushes out here just in case I decided to do that but I can see that the lighting's so bad I don't think it would be worth trying to really get into any detail but I do love this palette I really do it's got some good colors so that's all I'm going to do with shadows and now one thing that I am going to do that um and use his brush one of them this little um number nine I believe no it's the 12 brush take a black eyeliner any one one that don't use one like um use one that will smear anyway, this or is smudge. the kajal uh vasanti extreme that vicky sent me from canada but i also like to use my chanel coal liner um the elizabeth arden coal liner i've got a two face i've got lots of them so anyway the one i'm going to use is this one because i used it friday and it worked well and just do a simple line near your lash line and see you can see I leave, left a little bit of space try not to do that try to go all the way into your lashes like that and don't go all the way to the edge and I've learned not to go all the way in too because I don't want it too thick when I start um, blending it out and then this brush makes it really easy to blend that out and so what I first do is um, blend it in and then after I've you know blended it out some then I start winging it out like that and so I'm gonna come in and then kind of smear this out some and then start winging it out and from smearing out that shadow you will have um God, i'm gonna get some q-tips but anyway you will have some on your brush plenty on your brush to make that wing but don't smear it too much because you don't want it to come up too high and you don't want um to lose all your pigment at your lash line so like that i'll be right back when you get some q-tips I touched it right here and got a little spot. It's hard to get off now, of course. There, I think I got most of it. Okay, and um, so now what I'm gonna do is go in with my Stila. And I have tried several of these pen liners with this Goss Makeup Artist wing technique, and this one is just the best. It seems to perform the best for the wing and it lasts the best so it's just the intense black I believe is the name of it yes and you can do a little wing on top of this or you can do a large one I'm gonna do a little one at first and then I'm gonna show you how to get a bigger one 
So what you do is you just line it right up with your, you know, from here to your end of your eyebrow and then lay it down and then just pull it over and it will give you that perfect wing. And then I go into the lashes because this is so small, it can really get into the lashes and where that liner may not have gotten down far enough. So that's just a small, as you can see, that's a small wing. I'm gonna do it again over here. I'll see if I can do it in the, in the monitor. I'm not, well, I'll try to do both. So you line it up and just kind of set it down and then just drag it over. And then that gives you that triangle and then you can just fill it in. Like that. And then there's your wings. And see how this over that smudged other liner just looks pretty. And um, I don't know, it just gives you more depth. Okay, if you wanna make the wings longer, what I've been doing is just taking my liner and just drawing a a little bit of a wing and then doing my little come down over trick like that and that's it so let me see if I can show you on the back of my hand what you're doing is you're laying it down and then bringing it over like that so it's creating that just flick over it's very 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 easy <laughs> let me do see if I can do it again so you're tilting it and you're laying it down and then bringing it over and it just immediately creates it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put on my lashes and I am just going to use some of my regular 120S lashes that I've used a couple days now and um, I could put on mascara but this is so much easier to dry and these pretty much stay shaped well and so I'm just going to set them right on my lash line like that Easy. okay and then there we go Okay, so there it is with the lashes. So you can see how um, the, because you have, it's just all the liners and the lashes work well together because they create, the lashes just blend right into the wing and then the shading underneath comes out a little bit over. And if you need to, you can go over the top of it, but usually because I've smeared that black eyeliner underneath, I don't need to. And I'm gonna let them dry a few minutes and then I'll put a little bit of mascara on. And now I'm going to do my brows, and um, my brows are crazy. I've been letting them just grow. I haven't even, the only thing I've been plucking is like the ones that grow, you know, like practically on my eyelid. And um, so I've pretty much let, you know, this part right here grow in, and um, like this part right here. But I've noticed now that they're fuller, I don't want them to do them as dark. <clears throat> and I've been loving this Laura Mercier Brow Powder in Deep Blonde. And um, so I just use the same brush and I'll go in the light side and then just kind of fill it in up here. I usually do kind of a line and then flick that color up like that. And then I go in the darker color and um, kind of just bring it out a little bit more like that okay and the light color do a line and flick it up and the dark color bring it out and then for the top my eyebrows are uneven this one needs a little bit more at the top so I'm gonna go in with the light and just barely do some shading at the top kind of even that out. Let me do a little bit over here. Okay, so just a little bit, not a lot, and then just comb through them again.
and normally I would put on some um, let me go get my blonde brow gel from Anastasia. Okay. So I'm going to use my Anastasia blonde brow gel just to keep them in place because if I don't um, the powder won't last as long and they won't stay in place. And I like the blonde and the clear the best. I tried the brown, but it was a little too dark. Okay, so that's my brows. And now my um, lash glue has probably dried enough. So I'm gonna go in with, I usually just pick up whatever mascara. This is the Maybelline Falsies Volume Express. And I'm gonna go right under and just blend my lashes into the false lashes and pull them out right here at the ends and kind of blend them up into the lashes like that. If I do my mascara before I put on my lashes, I can't get them on because they curl up too much and it's hard to set my lashes down, so I do them after. Okay, and I'm not going to do any, <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to do anything on the bottom, but I will use my Merrill Norman. This is my inner eyeliner, and I like to use this on the bottom sometimes, um, just to look extra, I don't know, it just gives it a kind of a crisp look, but not as much as like a white and not as much as um, the Stila either. I just like that. Okay, and let's see, now we have lips and um, concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and do concealer. I've been loving this Blu-ray concealer, and today I'm gonna use the number one, which is a little bit lighter, and it just comes out so nice. You just give it one little twist, and some comes out of the end, and I've just been doing little dots like that and just blending it with my finger keeping it you know in that lower don't carry it up on the full part of your eyes sorry I just heard sirens so I'm wondering what the heck's going on I think it sounded like um, a fire truck but they didn't come down my road I don't think I think they went around the main road out there. Okay. So you can see that really works well. It really does and it lasts all day and it does not get into my fine lines. Like that. Okay, and then I thought I would just do that nude lip from the other day. I'm gonna use, and I still have right much of that the rose salve on, so I'm going to take that excess off so that it won't keep my lipstick and lip liner from going on. And this is the Lancome Natural Mauve. It's just a really good color. You'll see it's just about the color of my lips. So it doesn't, it doesn't color my lips that much, but it just finishes the edges, especially because I have that white, you know, ridge around my lips. I want to put something on that. Like that. And then I usually just work that in some. And then the <clears throat> lipstick I used was this new one. And I put an annotation that I went back and got backups because I love it so much. The lipstick is called um, Take Charge, and it's just a beautiful nude. And it is very smooth. It reminds me of, it feels so good on it. It feels like um, Clarins. The nude Clarins, how that feels like a balmy feeling, it just feels so good. It feels, to me, it feels even better than the other lipsticks I've gotten from this line. 
And um, so you could go with just that, but this is the gloss that goes with it. And I believe it, yeah, this called. one's Super Power. I can't want to say Power Surge. Okay. I'm just going to put a little bit of that on today. If you wanted your lips to look really full, the place to put it is right here. And see, that creates, that really gives you that dimension. It bring, makes your lips look more folded up because it brings the top part out. So I love that. Okay, I'm going to be right back with my outfit okay, of the day. So today we're really not going anywhere. I'm probably going to run to the post office and out to get lunch but I'm going to do cleaning today and some things like that. So I'm not even gonna worry about too many accessories. I just put in <clears throat> some earrings. And um, so I have on this dress, you guys probably remember it. I've worn it for years now. It's just a maxi dress from New York and Company. Kind of like it doesn't go all the way down. Um, it just goes most of the way down. I just have on my flip flops and I like that it's not too, it's fitted, but you know, still goes out some, so it's just easy okay, to wear. Okay, for accessories, I just put in my CZs, and I think I got these. Um, they're just little regular ones, but I always love to get my little CZs like this from the Limited. It has beautiful, you know, CZs, and I think that's where I got these from. They're my favorite for big ones. They just look pretty, and um, no fragrance or anything, and. Um, I was thinking there was something else I was going to ask you or tell you. Oh, I know what it is. I have gotten into, and I am, you know, I always tell you I'm so late on everything. And I have just, my friend Mary, when she was here, we were talking back and forth and the subject of Mad Men came up. And I've, you know, I've heard people talk about it and I've seen Mad Men this, Mad Men that collection, but I guess it just never got my attention. And she said, you've never watched that? And I said, no. And she said, oh, Lisa, you've got to watch that. She said, you would love it. So I have started watching Mad Men on Netflix and I have watched it like crazy. I am just addicted to it. And I've gotten through season one. I'm on towards the end of season two and it could not be any more me than it is. I love it. And I just think it's awesome. I love looking at the makeup and the hair and the dresses. So that's been my new big thing. So if any of you like that, tell me what you think. And um, I'm going to, I've got a couple dresses that are similar to that, but that just, that look is what fits my body type the best. So that's why I'm extra loving it. And it just, I don't know, it just reminds me, it's like some of that stuff I can just almost remember. I was born in 70 and it's set in the 60s, but I think because my parents were younger and teenagers, in the 60s a lot of that stuff kind of carried over my mom's look and a lot of that stuff and then i've also told you that i worked in a car dealership in the office and some of that stuff just reminds me so much of those guys like the meetings at the big table and just the way they talked and the dynamics between the guys and the girls and you know we used to dress up and it's, it's just i don't know i've really enjoyed watching it so if you haven't ever seen it it's it's worth watching it's I don't watch a lot of TV. I watch, like, ever since I've been watching that, I haven't even seen any Housewives or anything. I'm a person, I like to either watch the news or something like that. I don't usually get into American Idol or anything like that. So I've really enjoyed that. And uh, I'm going to keep my eyes open for some of those dresses and stuff. So I hope you guys have a good Monday, and hopefully I will see you soon. If the weather gets better, I will do that other, you know, more cut crease because that has been fun. I've enjoyed... I've had to step out of my comfort zone and do that, and I've enjoyed doing it. So I hope you enjoyed this just a little bit, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.